Have you ever wondered which type of cattle is best for your farm? Choosing the right breed can make a big difference in how well your cattle grow, how much milk they produce, and how easily they handle your farm's conditions. In the world of cattle, there are two main types you'll hear about, Bos Taurus and Bos Indicus. They may look similar, but they have some important differences that can affect your farm's success. In this video, we'll break down the key differences between these two breeds so you can decide which one fits your needs best. Stick around, because by the end, you'll have a clear idea of which breed is the right choice for your farm. To understand the differences between Bos Taurus and Bos Indicus, it helps to know where they come from. Bos Taurus cattle originated in cooler regions like Europe and North America. They are well suited for moderate climates with plenty of grass and mild temperatures. Farmers in these areas have relied on them for centuries for their high milk and meat production. On the other hand, Bos Indicus cattle come from hot tropical regions such as India and Africa. These cattle have adapted to survive in harsh environments with extreme heat, dry conditions, and limited food resources. Their bodies have developed special features to help them handle tough climates. So why does this matter to you? The breed's origin affects how well it will perform on your farm. If you live in a cooler climate, Bos Taurus might be the better choice. But if your farm is in a hot or humid area, Bos Indicus could be a smarter option. Coming up next, we'll look at their physical differences and how their unique features help them thrive in different conditions. At first glance, Bos Taurus and Bos Indicus might look similar, but their physical features set them apart in important ways. These differences aren't just about appearance. They affect how well the cattle can handle different environments. Bos Taurus cattle have a smooth, thick coat that helps them stay warm in cooler climates, smaller ears, and a compact body, which makes them efficient in moderate weather. No hump on their back, giving them a more uniform shape. Bos Indicus cattle, however, have developed unique features to survive in hot climates, such as loose hanging skin that helps them release body heat more easily, large ears that allow better airflow to keep them cool, a noticeable hump over their shoulders, which stores fat, and provides energy during tough conditions. These physical traits make Bos Indicus cattle better at handling heat, while Bos Taurus cattle are more comfortable in cooler environments. Up next, we'll talk about climate adaptability, which breed handles extreme weather better, and what that means for your farm. One of the biggest differences between Bos Taurus and Bos Indicus is how well they handle different climates. Choosing the right breed based on your farm's weather conditions can save you a lot of trouble and money in the long run. Bos Taurus cattle are best suited for cooler climates. They thrive in areas with mild summers and cold winters where they can graze comfortably and maintain their weight. However, in hot and humid conditions, they can struggle with heat stress, which can lower their productivity and health. On the other hand, Bos Indicus cattle are built for the heat. They can handle extreme temperatures, drought, and high humidity better than Bos Taurus. Their ability to withstand harsh weather makes them a great choice for farms in tropical and subtropical regions. They are also more resistant to diseases and parasites that thrive in warm climates. So if your farm experiences long, hot summers or dry conditions, Bos Indicus might be the better option. But if you're in a cooler area with reliable grazing, Bos Taurus could give you better results. Next, we'll dive into productivity and performance and see which breed gives you the most milk and meat. When it comes to productivity, both Bos Taurus and Bos Indicus have their strengths. The right choice depends on what matters most for your farm, whether it's milk production, meat quality, or overall efficiency. Bos Taurus cattle are known for high milk production makes them a great choice for dairy farms. Excellent meat quality with more marbling, which means tender and flavorful beef. Faster growth rates 
which can lead to quicker profits. However, they require good feed and cooler conditions to perform at their best. In hot climates, their productivity can drop significantly. Boss Indicus cattle, on the other hand, are valued for. Their ability to survive with less food and water makes them ideal for tough environments. Leaner meat with lower fat content, which some markets prefer. Strong resistance to diseases and parasites, reducing veterinary costs. Longer reproductive lifespan means they can produce calves for more years. While Boss Indicus cattle may not produce as much milk or high quality beef as Boss Taurus, they make up for it with their toughness and lower maintenance costs. Up next, we'll explore behavior and temperament and how each breed responds to handling and farm management. Choosing the right cattle breed isn't just about productivity, it's also about how easy they are to handle. The behavior and temperament of Boss Taurus and Boss Indicus can make a big difference in your daily farm operations. Boss Taurus cattle are generally more docile and easier to handle, making them a good fit for farms with frequent human interaction. Quicker to adapt to routines, which can make feeding and milking more efficient. Less reactive to stress, which helps maintain steady production. However, their calm nature sometimes makes them less alert to potential threats, which can be a downside in open grazing systems. Boss Indicus cattle, on the other hand, are more alert and cautious, making them better suited for harsher environments where they need to fend for themselves. Known for their strong survival instincts, which help them avoid predators and tough conditions, often more challenging to handle as they can be flighty and require experienced handling techniques. If your farm relies on close human interaction, Boss Taurus may be the easier choice. But if you need cattle that can be independent and thrive with less supervision, Boss Indicus might be the better option. Next, we'll take a look at crossbreeding and how combining these breeds can give you the best of both worlds. What if you want the high productivity of Boss Taurus and the toughness of Boss Indicus? That's where crossbreeding comes in. By combining the best traits of both breeds, you can create cattle that are more adaptable and productive. Some of the benefits of crossbreeding include improved heat tolerance. Boss Indicus genes help cattle handle hot climates better. Better meat quality, Boss Taurus genes add marbling and tenderness to the beef. Increased disease resistance. Crossbred cattle are often hardier and require less medical care. Higher fertility rates. They can have longer productive lifespans, producing more calves over time. Feed efficiency. A balanced mix can result in cattle that gain weight efficiently without needing expensive feed. Popular crossbreeds, such as the Brangus, Brahman plus Angus, or Beefmaster, are designed to offer a balance of meat quality and adaptability. However, successful crossbreeding depends on your farm's specific environment and goals. If you're looking for a practical solution that blends productivity with resilience, crossbreeding might be the right approach for you. Now that you know the key differences between Boss Taurus and Boss Indicus, you can make a more informed decision about which breed or combination of breeds will work best for your farm. Here's a quick recap. Boss Taurus is great for cooler climates with high milk and meat production, but requires more care in hot weather. Boss Indicus is built to handle extreme heat and tough conditions, offering strong disease resistance and lower maintenance costs. Crossbreeding can give you the best of both worlds, combining productivity with resilience. So what's the takeaway? When choosing the right breed, think about your farm's climate, production goals, and management style. Whether you go with Boss Taurus, Boss Indiacus, or a hybrid, the right breed can make all the difference in the success of your cattle operation. The right breed will give you better productivity, healthier cattle, and ultimately more profit on your farm. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips to improve your cattle farming.